Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Today is the day that you are dedicated to making the world a better place. Today is the day that you are woken, O America. It will open up your eyes and open your ears to new ideas and new possibilities. Your mind will be expanded, your heart will be expanded, your lease may they be expanded. May, may everything that we have that make you expand yourself, make yourself better than it was before. So, all aboard the freedom train, all aboard the hopes and dreams, never know where the path would take. You never know where the path would lead you. I'll pull the freedom train. I'll pull the hopes and dreams. Never know where the path would take you. Never know where the path would lead you. I'll pull the freedom train. I'll pull the hopes and dreams. Never know where the path would take you. Never know where the path would lead you. And here we go. So here we are. Be in America where you can be anything you want. You can be president of the United States. You can be a business owner. The dreams are yours. And this is why I'm here with, with the president candidate, J.W. Scargan. And, and, and here are words from the next president of the United States. Thank you, Rob Clark Foundation. Thank you for having us here in Virginia. Richmond, thank you for listening. This is Scroggy 16, independent candidate for president. We've traveled around to 46 capitals, spread truth, light, pursuit of happiness, the pursuit to be yourself, America. I have a message I want to send out to the youth today. If you're in middle school watching this, listen to me, please. If you're in high school, lend me your ears. If you just started college, listen to me now. Our elders have let our democracy go unchecked for too long, America. It's time for the youth to stand up and take a stand. And that's the true lies right in your heart. Write in on the ballot here in Virginia. You can write us in, Scroggy 16. It relies in your heart, America. It relies in the youth. We have to question authority. You have to know that it's okay to question authority. It's okay to question your leadership. It's our American right or duty to question leadership. Everybody thinks that, oh, you can't question the president, you can't question anything, you can't question the cops. Well, I'll tell you right now, some of the police in this, in this country profile people, and they put them in jail for no reason. They put them in jail because of how they look or what they're driving. And uh, it's time that we stand up to the police, it's time that we stand up to our government, it's time that we stand up to our leaders and tell them we don't want this anymore. You cannot take our seats, you cannot put us in jail for nothing. You can't profile my brothers and sisters and put them in jail for driving through a neighborhood at the wrong time. It's time we stand up as American and question all of this. We can come together as one, and it starts with the youth. Our elders have lost it. They've got lost in this Republican and Democratic uh, game where they think that they actually make a difference. But Republicans and Democrats are the same, America. That's why you don't see an independent candidate in the debate is because behind closed doors, they're having tea together, and they're saying, ha, 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 we just did it again. They think they're voting for one of our last evils, but they're actually voting for the same thing because we locked down the whole system. And that's how it starts, America. And people think, oh, I'm voting for Trump and then, so Hillary can't get in. Or I'm voting for Hillary so Trump can't get in. The same thing is, you're voting for the same person regardless, America, because it's Republican or Democrat. These leaders have failed us. We need the youth to listen. You need to rise up and tell these uh, two-party two -party system we're not having it no more. Republican Democrats are not here to support us. It relies on the youth. It relies on you. You can be president. I have a YouTube channel. I'm on day 900 of our president, day by day journal. If you're sitting there watching this right now and you're in high school, you can be the president. Start now. Start raising money now. Start raising awareness now. It's the power's in you. Don't think that you cannot be a leader in this country. Our leaders right now are a bunch of punks. They're a bunch of marks. Uh, Trump and Clinton are not real choices. They are just two puppets that are up there to make this regime stand of Republican and Democrat. Now's the time, America. It starts in your heart, and it happens with the youth. Our elders have lost it. They think that they're voting for something, but really, for the past 140 years, there's the same thing. When 
Terry and Bush ran for office, they were both in skull and bones at Yale. Now you tell me, how can you run against your fraternity brother and it's a real race? Because it's not a real race. It's a wrestling match, America. We gotta come together and realize this. It's gonna start with all of us holding hands, feeling the energy, feeling the heart, raising the vibration up, and realizing we're being played and we gotta put a stop to this. Third party candidates are out there. Gary Johnson, Jill Stein, J.W. Scroggy. We're standing up. We're holding hands. I was at a Jill Stein rally the other night. I didn't bash Jill Stein. I didn't tell Jill Stein that uh, I didn't uh, do negative work against her. I said, I support you, Jill. I support what you're doing. I support the third party. Republicans and Democrats don't support each other. They try to wreck each other. They try to undermine each other. Why is that, America? Why can't Republicans and Democrats work together like independent candidates work together? Because they want you to have this game propped up system where you think that one's good, one's this way, one's that way, when really they're the same behind closed doors. It's time you wake up to this, America. Woo. Another thing I want to talk about today is our troops. Support our troops. And how can we support our troops, America? It's by bringing them off the war, bringing them home, taking care of them when they get home. We were at the uh, bell tower yesterday in Richmond Rally, and uh, it's 22 troops a day commit suicide over what they've seen, how they feel, their, their uh, wounds. Uh, that's not acceptable. There are waiting lines for our vets for two days. They die while they wait to get uh, looked at. Unacceptable. Support your troops. Bring the troops home and end these wars of aggression. How can we be at war for 17 years when we have not declared war? It's over oil. It's over resources, America. We've got to figure out how to change how we use our resources and support our troops by bringing them home and not having 121 bases all across the world. Support your troops, America. Tell the president you want to bring them home. Write them a letter. Say, bring the troops home. Support the youth. Hey, little man, you can be the president of the United States. Did you know that? Yes, you can. Yeah, you can. Yes, you can. You can be the president. Hey, did you know you can be the president? Did you know that? Yes, yes, you can. You can be the president. It's time we come together, America. Inspire the youth. We've got to get the generations going to boycott this two-party mess. The time is now. It starts in your heart, America. It starts in your vibration. Support your third-party candidate. Let them know. Yell them out loud. Tell it to the stars. Support your independent candidate, and you can be the president. It's in your hands, America. We've been to 46 capitals giving speeches, inspiring people. Just like the youth listening right now, that you can be the president. It does not have to happen. It does not have to be the leaders they tell us. You can be the president too. It does not have to be the leaders that they tell us, America. It's time we wake up. It's time we get a mic in our hand. All right, America, this is how love really starts. Uh, the owner of this Citizen's Restaurant, who was a cooking, by the way, saw this drive up and down the street, yelling on the loudspeaker, and then emailed me because I went to the website and said, hey, come and get some dinner at my restaurant. I like, I like what y'all are doing here. That's how the love starts, America. That's why we're on this mission. That's why when people say, why are you doing this, Scroggy? You know you can't win. Why are you going to all the capitals? For this reason alone, to meet people like this at the Citizen. And uh, just to have a conversation with real Americans about real problems in our system and this is how it starts this is the tides of change I love you America I'm gonna try out some good grub here at the citizen check it out Americans talking to Americans getting the word out is how it starts America it's in your heart I love you subscribe you 16